Another 90 Ukrainian hostages have been released as part of a prisoner exchange deal. Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky wrote about this on his Telegram channel. Some 32 of those freed are soldiers of the National Guard, 18 are border guards, 17 are soldiers of the Navy, and 15 are soldiers of the armed forces. In addition, 59 defenders of embattled Mariupol were released, 52 of them participated in the protection of Azovstal plant. Among those released are defenders of Zaporizhia nuclear power plant. Returned servicemen were mostly captured in the direction of Kherson, Donetsk, Kharkiv, Zaporizhia and Luhansk. At least 10 people were killed and scores injured in gunfire during tax protests in Kenya's capital Nairobi. The police clashed with hundreds of demonstrators seeking to prevent the passage of a bill that would raise a number of taxes. Kenyan protesters breached parliament barricades and entered the complex where lawmakers were debating contentious tax hike proposals that have sparked widespread anger, AFP journalists saw, as police fired live bullets. Hundreds of protesters broke through barriers erected by the police outside parliament in the capital Nairobi, with police firing live rounds and leaving many wounded, according to Amnesty International Kenya. Protests forced President William Ruto on Sunday to express his readiness to engage in dialogue with demonstrators led by a youth group. Ruto hailed the youth for speaking out on political issues that affect them while attending a church service in Nyahuru, central Kenya. The president said, our young people have stepped forward to engage in the affairs of their country. They have done a democratic duty to stand and be recognized, and I want to tell you that we are going to have a conversation with you to identify your concerns and work together as a nation. Amendments to the bill look set to be approved but some of the controversial provisions initially put forward included a plan to introduce a 16% sales tax on bread and 25% duty on cooking oil. There was also a planned increase in the tax on financial transactions as well as a new annual tax on vehicle ownership amounting to 2.5% of the value of the vehicle. The government said it was dropping these measures amid a public outcry. Kenyans are protesting over a new finance bill that introduces unpopular tax proposals that have drawn a lot of anger across the nation. I'm 